Hello guys, so this is going to be a continuation on my video about this bicycle and I want to clarify something that I mentioned and I said that I was having issues with the front brake and it's actually something that needs to be adjusted so you had to actually adjust it from here this tool um, you had to unscrew it and just push a little bit away from the disc here um, so that's something that it's pretty much that you have to fine-tune to be able to have the disc not rub against the braking pads and Something else that I notice when riding this bicycle is that there is a noise here on the back by the freewheel. So if you hear, uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you hear that ticking noise, it doesn't go away when you are using the pedal assist. So you're going to be hearing that throughout your trip and this is the fastest this is going to be the fastest that you can go when you pedal the bicycle uh, it doesn't you you're not going to hear that noise so that's only when you use the pedal assist and I'm not really sure what it is but you can hear it when you're um, pedaling the bicycle. Uh, something else that I wanted to tell you is about the battery. So if you see here there is a button there and some lights that should uh, turn on but with this one doesn't I press the button but nothing happens I also hold the button here uh, you can see some light but it doesn't stay on so there's no way no, there's no way to tell what's the charge on this battery the only way is just by looking here but if let's say I'm charging the battery there's no light indication either once I connected it so the only indication is from the charger there is a red light while it's charging and I think that that light should turn green but I I just couldn't continue charging the battery because I was concerned it could be overcharged so uh, with with the other bicycle I have the hyper bicycle it does uh, show green once once it's charged and also there is a light indication on the battery so with this one you don't get that um, so that's a little bit of um, uh, a problem for me just because I'm not I cannot see that uh, another thing I have noticed that some other bicycle have a USB port for you to be able to charge uh, your phones but this one does not have that one so it's only the um, the connection here for for you to charge it but that's all you're going to get um, something else I can tell you after riding it for a while so today I made a longer trip and the seat may be a little bit uncomfortable after using it for a while so there is a seat that I would recommend you is the uh, the bell seat and that one has a suspension included so that makes your your rides much more comfortable also the seats are um, are wider and you get that uh, extra cushion as well 
that they have uh, created with those uh, seats. Um, something else that I didn't mention uh, about this bicycle is that it has a throttle. So one thing I like is that it has, um, so right now it's, it's on and it's stationary, but it doesn't move. Uh, so that's a nice security feature in case somebody just press this by mistake. So the bicycle is not going to move. It only activates when the bicycle is moving. So that's the only way you can, you can activate it. Uh, something else that I notice uh, when uh, going from uh, when using the pedal assist is that it doesn't activate right away. Uh, it probably activates within two seconds, and um, I'm not a big fan of that because uh, I used it to cross a lot of um, streets. So I like something that can respond a lot faster and the hyper bicycle that I have that it's um, a lot faster with that. It, it activates in probably about one second and this one it takes some time to for you to feel the the pedal assist and yeah, something else I can um, I can tell you is also I measure the weight of the bicycle. It's about um, 40 pounds without the the battery, and with the battery it's around 46. So the battery is it weights around six pounds, and it's not too bad because the hyper bicycle I have. It weighs around 51 pounds with the battery. So it's five pounds heavier than this one. And yeah, um, so when you receive the bicycle, uh, what you need to install is the, the front wheel, the, the pedals, uh, the seat, and the handle. That's that's all you need to that's all you need to install um, something that I talked about yesterday I mentioned that there was a axle included and this is the one that I was talking about so they have installed this in the front and I thought that the, I could use this axle instead of the quick release but actually this is smaller and the bearing cones they don't um, actually they stay loose in this so this has to be thicker and I don't know what the purpose for this was um, maybe they just don't want the fork to uh, to be damaged um, during transit so they included this maybe that was the purpose um, so the only way for you to use the bicycle would be with the quick release and they include this manual here and also the the battery manual and they include some tools here so these are the, the all the tools that you will need to uh, assemble the the bicycle so um, I think uh, I have covered all the things that I wanted to to, to mention also something else I noticed with the suspension is that it's really it's really strong I think that the suspension has to be very balanced uh, it has to be not too strong and not too soft and this one I didn't feel that it was cushioning the uh, the ride uh, I felt like um, it was too firm 
and I double check if this was locked and uh, this one what it does is that if it's locked it's not going to you're not going to get any suspension here so it's it's like um, a completely firm but if you unlock it then you get that that suspension here and it was unlocked and um it it, it still didn't I didn't feel the suspension too much and let me see uh, about the flashlight let me see if uh, probably you can see yeah there's no actually it's not really visible right now but what I want you to see maybe here you can see a little bit but what I wanted to say is that you only get this flashlight only lights that region here that small region so I have other flashlight where they illuminate uh, a much larger area so this flashlight may not be enough for for your needs if you're going to ride it at night uh, this this uh, the this handles here they are really uh, made of a strong plastic they're not going to be extremely comfortable after riding for a while and I'm going to be doing a review of the hyper bicycle I have and um, I'm going to tell you some of the good features I have noticed I have been using that for about five months and I feel like it has uh, very nice features but there's some old things that I don't like about that I'm, about it too and um, I'm going to tell you more about it too so I don't know what else to tell you about the bicycle um, something that I mentioned is that it, it just goes to about 50 miles per hour so it's not going to be really fast uh, if you don't mind that then probably this will work for you for me I personally li like something uh, faster and those five extra miles that the hyper bicycle can do uh, or you can really feel the difference um, also the hyper bicycle is just um, more responsive sometimes uh, with the pedal assist so so yeah, that's. Uh, I think that I have covered most of the things that I wanted to give you an update.